guys, I'm here today with another tea time video and it's going to be all tea empties. Um, I was sick like right after Christmas and I don't know what it was, if it was like the flu or a bad cold, but I was really bad off for quite a while. It took me a while to get better. So I was drinking tea like it was my job. I've been drinking tea a lot more since the weather has been cooler, but I was really drinking a lot then. And since, um, as of this week, it's really new. But I have not had any coffee at all. I have not had coffee in the mornings. I have just been drinking tea, caffeinated tea, but tea. Now, I'm not going to lie. If it's like a random Tuesday and I go to Target and I want a Starbucks, I'm going to get a Starbucks. I'm not trying to like cut coffee out forever. But in the morning time, it's not very gentle on my tummy. So I've decided to start doing tea. And so far, so good. So anyways, I have a lot of tea here, so let's just get started. First off, I'm going to start with this brand, Mighty Leaf. And all of you guys that watch my tea videos that drink tea, why have you not told me about this brand? Like, why not? I went to Kroger when I was sick because I needed some honey. You know, honey's good for you when you're sick and all this. And I was strolling down the tea aisle, which I have to do. And I saw this one. It's the Mighty Leaf Tea Chamomile Citrus, an herbal infusion of chamomile, orange, and lemon slices. And first off, their tea bags are just beautiful. I mean, it is beautiful. It puts Celestial seasonings to shame for sure. And this is an herbal tea, caffeine free. And this is a little more expensive tea, but I mean, it's like really nice quality. I probably went through this box in less than a week. And that says a lot because I have a lot of tea. It is so good. I've gotten another box already. It is just amazing. So if you are in the market for any tea, pick this one up. And in my Kroger, we have a tea aisle and then we have like the natural and organic section off to the side. And this was in that section. So if you're looking for it, you may want to look over there. And then I like that one so much. When I went back to get another box, I got this, the green tea tropical. And it is green tea leaves infused with sweet tropical notes and it's light caffeine. I'm trying to get on green tea something about it it just has it has like a little bit of a bitter taste that I just have never really cared for so I'm trying to drink different green teas to get me into green tea so if you drink green tea or you have any recommendations tell me down below because I'm up for them I picked up two from Bigelow the decaf green tea and the green tea pomegranate and I've only tried the green tea pomegranate so far and it was pretty tasty Anyways, this is lovely. I'm drinking a cup of it right now. It was my last tea bag. So I'm going to have to get to Kroger and buy another box. I think I may buy in bulk on Amazon because it is really good. Okay, so those are my favorites. And then this is another really, really lovely tea. It is the Traditional Medicinals Organic Roasted Dandelion Root Naturally Caffeine Free Herbal Tea. And it is in the same section at the grocery store. And dandelion root has a lot of benefits for you. This says stimulates the liver and supports healthy digestion. I think my husband even takes like a dandelion root peel or something like that. It says it's pleasantly roasted, sweet, and slightly bitter. Well, first off, it looks like coffee. It is the same color as coffee before you add anything to it. And it, I mean, it is a very bitter taste. Like there, I have this memory, I don't even know if it's real or not, of being a kid and like eating a flower and that like bittery taste. Do you know what I'm talking about? I sure hope y'all do. Anyways, something about it reminds me of that. So maybe I did eat a dandelion flower one day in my early years, but it's very good. If you're trying to get off of coffee and you especially like darker coffee, this would be a really good substitute because it is very similar but not. It's the most strange tea. You steep it for a really long time, but if you're in the mood to try something different, like dark and roasted for the winter, you know, it would be a good one. So there's that. Then this tea I did not like quite at all. Eh, no, I won't purchase it. It's the Yogi Peach Detox. Well, I like to drink a detox tea. I usually have like one cup a day because I just think it's probably, you know, good to have. And this has dandelion in it as well. And I guess I didn't read about it when I ordered it. I think I got it on Vitacol, so I'll probably have another box. I thought it would be kind of peachy. No, it's like cinnamon tea, 
which is fine, but I'm not really that crazy about cinnamon. In small doses, I like it okay. So I did drink a good bit of this, and then my mom was here for Christmas, and she loves cinnamon, so she drank some too, and she's the one that mainly finished it off, but I did drink a lot of it. If you are into that, get it, but if you're wanting it for peach, don't. Okay, and I bought the detox tea from the Republica tea. I think it was called like Get Clean. It's like the blue tube that's like I think almond flavor or something like that. And it has some ingredient in it. I think it's milk thistle. And I looked online and apparently a lot of people or some people have reactions to it. And I did. It made me quite sick. So I'm not trying that tea anymore but if you have any other general detox teas that you like tell me i do like the yogi skin detox a lot okay this is the celestial seasoning sugar cookie sleigh ride this is one of my favorite teas of all time i bought a big box on on amazon i have given it as gifts i think this is like the most perfect little starter tea my daughter drinks this with me a lot she also likes the sleepy time vanilla and the sleepy time decaf green tea with honey and jasmine she really likes that too or something like that she loves hot tea and i don't even put sweetener in it anyways this is so good it tastes kind of like a lemon sugar cookie it's not overly sweet like you could add honey to it if you wanted to because it's not that sweet and i also picked up the caramel apple one yesterday at target actually and i brewed brewed i, I made myself a cup of tea earlier today and i put one of these tea bags in it with the caramel apple and mixed it together. It was so good. It was like a caramel apple-y sugar cookie. The caramel apple has a lot of cinnamon and I know I said I don't like cinnamon but it has it's not all there is to it so. Okay this is the Yogi Green Tea Kombucha. I forgot to keep the box. I threw it away so I kept the little bag. Um, I like this a lot. It has, it's green tea, lemongrass, spearmint, natural passion fruit, natural plum, and organic kombucha. I'm not quite positive on what all kombucha is, but I know it's like good for you and people like to drink it. Those funky drinks that I don't think taste good at all. This smells, it's like green tea and minty, but a pretty strong fruit note. So I think that's why I used to not mind having this when I first, you know, wasn't into green tea so I would definitely pick this up again it was it was pretty good and then lastly for tea the Republica tea I've mentioned a million times if you get their catalog they always send you a tea sample in it and the one I got recently was the Downton Abbey Bates Brambleberry black tea and I have one of the Downton Abbey teas it's like a it's like a fruity rose tea I think and it's really good this was so nice I mean, probably 8 out of 10 times when they send me a sample, I end up ordering the full size. It is very fruity, like berry, but it's a black tea, so it is maybe raspberry. Well, it's brambleberry, but I don't really know what that is. So anyways, this was really nice. If you get the sample, try it. And that is all my teas, but I do have one thing I wanted to show you, and this is a thing of honey. I don't like honey at all. But when I was sick, I had gone to Kroger and got some honey because, you know, it's good for you. And I picked up this. It was in the organic section. It's the brand Simple Truth Organic. I think that's kind of like maybe a store brand, a house brand. Not necessarily a Kroger because I think other places have it. But this is like the brand my Kroger carries. And it's the cream tunny. And it was very thick. Like you had to like scoop out like a layer. It wasn't like liquidy. And it didn't have that just overpowering honey taste that honey has. I mean, it tastes like honey, smells like honey, but it was just, it was really nice. I went through this in no time. And I have to say, I think between this and this tea, it helped me get so much better quicker. It could be all in my mind, but after I started drinking this, it was like five cups a day. So that probably helped. But anyways, that is a really lovely honey. If you are not a honey person and you're in the market for one or... If you really like honey, you may want to try it. You may think, hmm, so I don't know. But that is all of my tea empties. I thought it would just be fun to share it with you. Plus, I have quite a few boxes I want to throw away. So that is all for today, and I will see you guys later. Bye.